Hey guys, welcome to Outpost Pottery. I'm MJ and today we are going to talk about profile ribs. Now what is a profile rib you might ask? A profile rib is something that you can make it out of wood or metal or I 3D print these and basically you throw a cylinder, you jam it up against the edge of your cylinder and it ensures that you get the same shape over and over. These are mugs. I made this rib for a company called Waco Tours here in town. They had a big order of 100 and I wanted to make sure I had it identical across all 100. But this is especially helpful when you're doing online sales. Now online sales, people look at that picture and they want to see, they, what they see in that picture, they want to get. Now you're always gonna have discrepancies. And when you throw it by hand, sometimes they can be major discrepancies, but this allows you to at least nail the size and the basic shape almost every time. Now I first saw this technique used by a group called Sunset Hill Stoneware up in, I think they're in Wisconsin. It might be Minnesota, but I saw a picture of a guy on the wheel, tall cylinder, and he had a piece of metal jammed up against the profile, and I thought, man, that's brilliant. Uh, and they do a lot of business. So that's where we started making these 3D printed ribs. So how do you use a profile rib? Basically, you center your clay, and you try to throw that shape as best you can. But to ensure that you do, after that, you take the, the rib and you jam it up against the edge, and I like to just trace my finger along the inside to ensure that it's following that curvature. So I get the exact profile I'm looking for every time. So how do you make a profile rib? What I do is I go into a program called Fusion 360, and I design the shape that I want in the 360 software, and then I take the inverse of that and I create out of it a rib. And from that rib, it's, it, you create what's called an STL file, and that is what you can print on a 3D printer. So I take that, three, that STL file, I run it through one of my four 3D printers, and then I go and test the product and see. Now remember, you want this to be somewhere between 10 and 15% larger than your final vessel. So these are mugs, these are candles, and you can see that there's a discrepancy there in size. There's also a discrepancy down here, but that's due to trimming, because I trim these after the fact, and I put that nice little um, tread swirl on there. If you're interested in this Waco Tours profile rib, you can download the STL file for free in the links below, or if you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can buy one of mine either on Amazon or on uh, my website. Now, if you're interested in 3D printing for potters, then check out my video series on the subject. I have a lot of videos on 3D printing. I love 3D printing. I think it's one of the most important tools for potters. And lastly, if you want to check out one of my courses on 3D printing for potters, check them out in the links below. I would love to have you in there. I'd love to be able to share with you what I've learned about 3D printing for pottery. I'm MJ at Outpost Pottery. Thanks for watching and keep on learning.